What's up everybody, this is Eric the Tech Preacher. So I work on YouTube videos almost every day and I've been using my spec'd out ASUS ROG laptop. It has an i7 processor, HQ processor in it, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, one terabyte of storage, I got a GTX 1080 GPU to edit my videos. Well, I was all over the internet and I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and everybody on the internet talking about how good the M1 Macs are. So I went out and I bought the Mac Mini, M1 Mac Mini, the eight gigabyte, the cheap one, the $700 Mac Mini. And it's no way, no way that the Mac Mini eight gigabytes for 700 bucks can beat my $3,000 PC. Well, for the past month, maybe about 20 videos or so, I've been using the Mac Mini exclusively, been editing all my videos on the Mac Mini, and oh boy, I think I might be sold. Let me explain, sit back and relax, and get your popcorn ready, and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So yes, I bought a $699 Mac Mini uh, to test, right? To see how close it is to my almost $3,000 PC, right? And I've been, you know, editing everything in 4K and I download Adobe Premiere Pro uh, for my Mac Mini, the M1 version, which is the Intel version running in Rosetta. And it's no way that since it's running in Rosetta uh, and it's not even optimized for Macs yet, that it could beat my PC. Well, much of my surprise, I my workflow has been great on the Mac Mini. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys some clips and uh, I'm gonna let y'all guys see my PC along with the Mac Mini and my workflow. And I'm gonna give you some commentary. So let's go ahead and fire up this camera to my monitor here and let's go ahead and talk about the Mac Mini. All right guys, so here it is. I got my Mac Mini running Adobe Premiere Pro and Rosetta. This is the Intel uh, software because it, uh, they do not have a optimized version of Adobe Premiere Pro as of me recording this video. Now, I've been using uh, my regular PC spec out for a very long time. And, and it cost me almost about 3000 bucks. i7, 1080 GPU and all this stuff like that. Uh, I, I'm running a T7 uh, SSD on my Windows PC and on my Mac mini, I'm running a T5 one terabyte. And I've been blown away about the performance. So for the past 20 or so videos that y'all guys saw on my YouTube channel, it's all been edited on the Mac mini. Now I got this clip right here. And then if I click on to my PC, which I have my PC connected to my monitor also. So I have the same exact clips on both devices. Uh, so y'all guys can see this and I'm gonna render this uh, both of these and I'm set a timer here, which I have a timer. I got two phones right there to set a timer. So right here, this is the Windows version of an optimized copy of uh, Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. This is the latest and greatest fully optimized for the PC. And one of the issues that I run into is scrubbing and uh, I have to use proxies and all kinds of things like that because of the resolution issues. Now my timelines right now is in 4K. I run everything in 4K. So when I run 4K, which if you look at this clip right here, uh, I got both, both, I got two timelines right here, which is in 4K. I run into issues here. Right now, I'm not using any proxies, but I run into issues here. As you can see, as I'm scrubbing, it's definitely lagging out as I'm scrubbing here. And this is the issue that I run uh, with my Windows PC. Now, if I'm doing chroma key and I don't use proxies, you can forget about it. It will lag out. And if I look at my resolution, I got it in one fourth. I don't have it full. If I had it full, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even scrub. So right here's the Mac Mini, right? Uh, and as, as I scrub here, look at the scrubbing on the Mac Mini, it's so good here. And I'm running a T5 SSD, which is all this running on there. And the scrubbing is like night and day compared to, compared to my PC. It's, it's really blowing me away because I'm scrubbing through the timeline on my PC and I'm getting stuttering and hiccup and stuff like that. I got to create proxies. 
right here in the Mac Mini, I, I, I got the same resolution. I got it in one fourth. Uh, and again, 4K timeline here with multiple clips, color grading and all kinds of things like that. And the scrubbing through it really good. And this is a non-optimized version. So this is crazy. So when I play it, it plays it so good. And by the way, uh, the Mac mini version of Adobe Premiere Pro, or everything that I've seen on Adobe Premiere Pro, or, or even everything that I'm doing on the Mac mini, the text and everything is so pretty compared to the Windows PC. So my monitor here, it's a 4K monitor, and I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, good quality image that I'm getting from the Mac Mini. So I'm blown away on the footage here. And again, I have all kinds of timelines going on here. Uh, I got my work, this is my workflow. I got all kinds of different things. I use three to four cameras sometimes in my videos. I do chroma key and everything else in between. And the Mac Mini is doing it without, without creating proxies. Uh, even if I uh, do, all, I mean, just anything that I want to do in Adobe Premiere Pro, I could do it with a Mac Mini. Of course, if I was using Final Cut Pro, it would be optimized for the Mac and it would work great. But I'm a Premiere Pro person, so I like uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, let me show you guys something here. Uh, let me let, let y'all guys look at the monitor. And for reference, I want y'all guys to see this. Make sure my camera got this. Okay, I want y'all guys to see this. Adobe Premiere Pro running right now. It's running six gigs of memory, six gigs right now. I want y'all guys to see this, six gigs. Right now, my on this eight gig uh, model here, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is now taking up six gigs, right? And I'm not getting no spikes uh, as far as memory pressure. No spikes, and it is using 1.6 swap files. Now, that was the thing that concerned me. Okay, Adobe Premiere Pro will use all the RAM, right? Would it stutter, would it hiccup, would I have problems? Uh, and so far, I am not having problems. So I thought about this. I said, well, maybe I'll you know, get the, eight, the, the 16 gig RAM version because by the time I start doing chroma key and all these uh, app defects and stuff like that in Adobe Premiere Pro, on a non-optimized uh, software in Rosetta, it was no way that this will run much of my surprise i even though it's it's peaking out at seven gigs right on on, on my adobe premiere pro it's peaking out at seven gigs i'm not getting no stuttering no hiccuping and look i'm peaking out right now uh on my on my memory i'm peaking out i'm at uh seven gigs right now being used and now the swap files is about 1.68 gigs and it's not stuttering so what that tells me is that this is unbelievable, taking it that I got more RAM in my PC and a more powerful chip, well, it's Intel chip, right? But the Mac Mini is running better than my almost $3,000 PC. So what that tells me is that, hey, Apple got a winner here, baby. So would I get a 16 gigabyte Mac Mini? No, I wouldn't even get a 16 gigabyte Mac Mini, why? because right now this, the, the eight gigabyte version is running like butter, baby. So I'm not, I don't see no sense of me getting a 16 gig version. I, I'm, even though I'm peaking out at seven and a half gigs right now, uh, I don't, it's not slowing down, it's not crashing, it's not stuttering. And once Adobe Premiere Pro get optimized for the Mac, it's gonna run even better than this. So 700 bucks compared to 3000 bucks, damn, man. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to render. Wow, I'm at eight gigs right now. So Adobe Premiere Pro is taking 8.35 gigs right now. 8.35 gigs in uh, swap files right now, it's over two gigs, and I'm still not getting no stuttering, no hiccup. So right now I am maxed out. I am peeking out the, the, the Mac Mini. Over the, Now I'm at 8.66 gigs uh, being used right now on my Mac Mini. 8.87 gigs right now is being used on my Mac Mini, uh, only in Adobe Premiere Pro. And so right now it's using 2.19 swap files on my Mac Mini and I'm not getting no crashes. I'm not getting no stuttering. The music is playing. All my app effects is playing. Everything is playing very well. No problems. I'm over eight gigs of RAM right now playing. And I know what y'all guys gonna say in the comments. Well, you, that's why you need 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, if I don't have this activity monitor up, I wouldn't even care if it's running over six, eight gigs of RAM. If it's not 
if it's not hindering performance, and this is what I'm saying, like right now, I'm, it's not hindering performance. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, I have, um, uh, I'm gonna render both uh, of the videos here. I got the same exact clips, the same exact thing going on on my Windows PC and my Mac mini. And let's see if, which one go go faster. All right, so let's do some rendering. I got a seven minute clip, 4K clip on board computers. Now I got one monitor, two separate PCs. So the monitor don't have anything to do with it. Me going from point A to point B doesn't have anything to do with it. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I got two phones here, one for the PC, one for the Mac, and I'm going to render this video in 4K, and I'm gonna render the other video in the, on the Mac side in 4K, and we're gonna see what it's all about. So let's do the PC first. We go export, uh, right, let's do this. Okay, let's go back, let's do this. Export, media, we're gonna do this here in quick time, and uh, don't worry about that, and it's gonna be uh, 4K, all right, we're gonna do 4K, everything is the same, all right, and we go, I'm gonna start the clock, we go start export, all right, all right, so I started the clock, there it is, it's starting. Let's go to the Mac Mini. All right, now in the Mac Mini, I'm going to also do the same thing. Now again, I got the same settings. All right, so the same settings, I'm going to go file and uh, export media and same settings, everything is the same. Yes, I just want to make sure 4K, I'm doing this at Apple Pro ProRes on both of them, Apple ProRes 422LT on both of them, seven minute, Export, boom, click it. All right, so here it is. We're about 37 seconds apart from me starting on both. All right, so right now I hear my PC fans kicking in uh, as I'm rendering. And I want y'all guys to see this. 15 minutes that it's saying right now for this clip to render, 15 minutes. I want y'all guys to see that. All right, 14 minutes that it said that this seven minute 4K clip will be done uh, doing it in Apple ProRes at 422LT. All right, so I'm gonna go back and look at the mini and see what the mini says. All right, one said 14 minutes. This one says 17 minutes. So now I went to 16 minutes. Now I went to 15 minutes. Now I went to 14 minutes. Now I went to 13 minutes, just like that. Now I went to 12 minutes. All right, now I went to 11 minutes. <laughs> so the Mac Mini is flying through this clip. Now I went to 10 minutes and let's go back here uh, and uh, look at this, wow. So it's counting down and really fast uh, rendering this clip. All right, so I'm at 12 minutes on the PC. Now remember, I started rendering the video first on the Windows PC uh, compared to the Mac Mini. So <laughs> this is so it's strange, but I want y'all got to see this. Uh, now it's about 37 seconds apart between both uh, the PC and the Mac Mini. And again, this is the part that I'm blown away of. Uh, and the thing about it is, the PC got the fastest SSD drive. So I got a T7 on my Windows PC compared to a T5 on the Mac Mini. Now if I would've did it in reverse, this rendering time would probably be uh, different. I got uh, both clips going to the SSD instead of local storage. That's weird, so no local storage. Both of them going rendering to uh, the SSD, so it's even Steven. Everything in this video I try to do is even Steven. All right, four minutes here. Uh, and this is uh, the Mac Mini. All right, here we go, five minutes. Again, I know this video gonna be long. Oh, so I got an error here. So, <laughs> this happens a lot. So, my Windows PC crashed, okay? My Windows PC crashed it, it, while I'm doing this video in five minutes. Now this happens every now and then, both, uh, I'm running the, the Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. Um, and as y'all guys can see, this, uh, it's just crashed. It's crashed. There it is. And this is my growing pain with Windows, right? 
So it ain't got nothing to do. It's it, it just sometimes you, you have issues with Adobe Premiere Pro. And one of the reasons why I like using Adobe Premiere Pro, I've been using it for so long, I, it's the workflow is so great. But now on my Windows PC, it just crashed. And this is this is not nothing new here, by the way, okay? Um, this is something that happens sometimes. Uh, and I would think that it'd be just the opposite, right? I would think that the Windows would crash. I'm sorry, I would think that the Mac would crash and the Windows would not crash. All right, so there it is, that's the test. Um, obviously, uh, what I wanted to show is that the Windows uh, would have got beat anyway. I've done this, I've done this bef before I started this video. So uh, the Windows, uh, my PC would have got beat by the Mac Mini. Uh, but uh, I didn't think that it would crash in the middle of me making this video. I'm blown away so far uh, with the Mac Mini, eight gigabytes of RAM uh, with Adobe Premiere Pro. Of course, if I was using Final Cut Pro, it would be faster. Of course, if I was using a T7 SSD, it would probably be faster. So in this video, I really handicapped uh, the Mac Mini. Why? Because I want to show you guys that I've been testing this for about a month and the Mac Mini, no matter how you handicap it, it still beat my Windows PC. So even though I handicapped the, uh, the Mac Mini, it still come out on top. And the, these normal, these crashes that I get in the Adobe Premiere Pro on the Windows side is pretty normal. Now, both of them is running a 2021 version uh, of Adobe Premiere Pro. I got fresh boots on both of them, so it's, that's not the issue. The issue is that somehow, some way, Apple is getting it right and Windows is not. So we're looking at about 10 minutes of rendering time with a seven minute clip, 4K uh, on my Mac Mini compared to probably about 15 uh, to close to 17 minutes that I know that I've ran this test already uh, on my Windows PC. Now it's done 10 minutes exactly, seven minutes, 10 minutes of uh, 4K uh, with all kinds of color grading, uh, all kinds of uh, stuff going on, multiple timelines. The Mac Mini came out on top. Am I impressed? Yes. Um, am I disappointed at Windows? Yes. But hey, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. We call it how we see it. So this is Eric the Tech Preacher. Leave a comment down below, man. Uh, let me know what you think. I, I'm blown away, man. I, 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 look, you got to call it how you see it. I In this video, I handicapped uh, the Mac Mini, gave it a slower SSD. Uh, I started it last. It's not optimized for Mac, and it still beat the Windows PC. And in this video, the Windows PC crashed while I was recording. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace. Dan Tano.